Today we're going to take a look at the Yamaha Moro full suspension mountain bike. This bike that we're looking at is large. We have available small, medium and large. And the range, because of the standover height, and it has a low sit, uh, standover height, small can handle four foot eight, large up to six three, six four. Yamaha has been making pedal assist. They invented pedal assist actually in 1989. They started production in 93. So they've been fighting the fight since 1993 for pedal assist. Today's bike, the Moro, has a PWX2 6.7. Pounds set back quite a bit, a little smaller, and if you notice that the battery is in the down tube and the rear suspension is tucked in the frame as well. This is a patented dual twin frame, the aluminum frame. The charging port for this battery it could be charged on or off the bike, doesn't necessarily matter. The port is right here. Easy on, easy off. It won't get it. When you're charging, you don't have to worry about the cranks hitting the the plug, which some of our bikes, you would have to be concerned with that. 170 mil on the crank arms. These tires are 2.8 inches by 27 and a half. Hundred and sixty mil on the front suspension, hundred and forty five on the rear. Lock out and preloaded. Right now it's preloaded for about a hundred and eighty pound rider. Shimano eleven speed shifter. This is a dropper seat post with approximately 170 mil of travel. And on the derailleur, right now the clutch is on for riding on the trails, avoids chain slap. This bike has several levers, levels of power. Turn the power on here. Right now it's off to 52.9 pound. This bike is large that we're looking at today. 52.9 pounds on the large bike. Off, it rides nicely. A little heavy for some, but it does ride nicely. No, no drag whatsoever on that motor. Eco is the first level. Think of it as uh, up and down rolling hills, rolling trails. Um, standard would be for something steeper. Below this, this knoll here, it's fairly steep. It's maybe six, seven degrees. Standard would work nicely. And high would be just what you would imagine, which would be a fairly steep hill. Many of our mountain bike riders ride it in mountain bike, MTB. More responsive. Uh, it will, around cornering and what have you, many of our riders will leave it on MTB the entire ride and not shift from one to the other. For extreme power, extreme power level, and that would be for 15 degrees, 20 degree hill, perhaps a little, uh, some gravel. And then, in addition to that, is the automatic mode. And if you could see right next to standard, that automatic will move you between eco, standard, and high. Imagine you did 20 miles of up and down, and for the steepest of hills, and for rides along the river, and that will move 
that to a degree that meets your riding style. Bike has a cadence sensor, torque sensor, speed sensor, and an angle sensor. The speed sensor is in the rear hub. In addition to their own motor frame, the speed sensor is proprietary and exclusive to Yamaha. And it's in the rear hub. It's not a magnet sensor like most bikes are and most mountain bikes are. Yamaha's hub sensor allows the rider, especially through tight turns and pretty hilly terrains, it will pick up right away. You won't have to have that magnet go around the sensor to actually mimic what the rider is looking for. You get support up to 175 revolutions a minute in the mountain bike and high level who rides at 170 revolutions a minute well the answer is probably nobody however that's not why Yamaha did it Yamaha did it because they wanted the rider when they get into a tight turn with a hill right after it that the bike will respond and so it will give power based on the pedal speed which makes it really really handy for up and down terrain typically have these bikes in large medium and small in our north canaan kent and west cornwall locations please give us a call if you have any questions Thank you.